in this section we are going to discuss uh, uh, exact value of trigonometric ratio for um, for some angles uh, we are looking for 30 40 uh, and uh, 60 initially we will discuss with 30 and 60 for this what we do we need a equilateral triangle and the side is unit 2 the length of side should be unit 2 and we divide in like this and divide into a 290 degrees triangle so then this is uh, 60 we know that equilateral triangle is 60 and this one going to be 30 and 30 and so this is the plan a b c d and 90 90 this is 60 uh, so length are 2 2 and 2 this is going to be 1 and 1 so you know this is 60 as well and this is 30 30 so side lengths are 2 2 and AD is AB square minus BD square square root AB square mean 4 minus 1 this is the square root 3 so this is from the Pythagoras you know the hypotenuse you know one side then you can find the other side so this is square root 3 now we'll consider this triangle AB, ABD and sine 60 when you come and stand up here sine okay sine 60 uh, you can see when we, within look, by looking at this direction AD is opposite and then BD is adjacent uh, and BA is going to be hypotenuse so sine 60 mean AD divided by uh, BD I'm sorry uh, AD divided by hypotenuse A B cos 60 mean uh, adjacent BD divided by AB so this is the angle we are considering BD divided by uh, AB tan 60 mean AD divided by BD uh, sin 60 AD is square root 3 AB is 2 then sin 60 is square root 3 over 2 again cos 60 cos 60 mean 1 over 2 half tan 60 mean AD divided by BD uh, square root 3 over 1 which is square root 3 so these numbers uh, should be in here uh, you have to remember these things for quick calculation in the exam now we will consider this angle 30 now if you come and stand up on 30 by looking at this direction now opposite early adjacent now it is become opposite so what is the sign 30 opposite BD divided by uh, AB BD is 1 and AB is 2 then cos 30 cos 30 is uh, AD over AB AD is 
square root 3 AB2. Tan 30 equal uh, BD over AD. AD mean 1. This is square root. AD is square root 3. Oh, then, uh, sin 30 is half cos 30 is square root 3 over t uh, square root 3 over 2 now let's see how you can remember these, these values can you see uh, there are two values so i will delete this one half n square root 3 over 2 if you know sine 30, it means you know cos 60. If you know cos 30, then you know sine 60. If I delete those two values, can you remember the two numbers was there? One is half, other one is square root 3 over 2. Now can you remember the two values? Half n square root 3 over 2. Sine 30 is always half. Sine 30 is half. It means cos 60 is half because 30 plus 60, 90 cos 60 is half. What is the other value now? This one. Cos 30 square root 3 over 2. It means sine 60 is square root 3 over 2 tan 30. Tan 30 means sine 30 divided by cos 30. I think you can remember this. If not, uh, I'll just quickly show that. So A, B, C and this is 30. 30. Then, uh, what is tan 30? Tan 30 is opposite divided by hypotenuse. BC divided by AB. Now, what is sin, sin 30? Sin 30 is BC divided by hypotenuse. Uh, sorry, tan 30 is BC divided by adjacent. Opposite divided by adjacent. Opposite is BC, adjacent is AB. Now sine 30. Opposite divided by hypotenuse, AC. Then cos 30. AB divided by AC. I will divide, I will take this is 1 and 2. I will divide 1 divided by 2. It means sine 30 divided by cos 30 equal BC over AC divided by AB over AC. So BC over AC divided by AB over AC. What will happen this one? This will uh, BC over AC swap. AC over AB. So I can write here uh, BC over AC times AC over AB. So AC to AC can turn out. So BC over uh, AB, final answer. BC over AB mean what? Tan. So this is tan 30. Basically, you should know that tan theta means sine theta divided by cos theta. So that's what I use here. Now, tan 30 means sine 30 divided by cos 30. So, you know sine 30 value is half. You know cos 30 value is square root 3 over 2. So, then when I simplify, this is cancel out. 
1 over square root 3. If you are not sure I, how I did, half a divide by square root 3 over 2. Half a multiply by 2 over square root 3. Right, so then 1 over square root 3. Then uh, cos tan 16. Tan 60 mean again sin 60 divided by cos 60. Sin 60 is what? The square root 3 over 2. Cos 60 is half. So 2 to 2 cancel out. Final answer is the square root 3. So sin 30 is half. Cos 60 is half. Cos 30 is square root 3 over 2. So, hence, sin 60 is square root 3 over 2. Because 30, 60, 90. 30 and 60, 90. Then tan 30 mean 1 over square root 3. And tan 60 mean square root 3. So now it is in here. You can remember now. To draw... Uh, to draw... Uh, to find 45 now, we'll do isosceles triangle and this is, we'll take 1, 1 unit and this is going to be square root 2 from the Pythagoras 1 square plus 1 square square root. So E, B, C. This is going to be 45 and 45. Now let's consider this angle, uh, sine 45. Sine 45 mean, when you come and look at here, opposite is uh, CB divided by uh, hypotenuse EC. 1 over square root 2 CB is 1 AC. Then cos 45 mean what? Adjacent AB over AC again. 1 over square root 2. Now, tan 45 mean opposite divide by adjacent ac over ab 1 over 1 or if you divide by sine 40 divided by cos 40 this is cancel out and answer is 1 now one more number you need to remember half square root 3 over 2 and 1 over square root 2 sine 45 cos 45 and tan 45 sin cos is 1 over square root 2 this is cos 45 also same and tan 45 mean when you divide those two answer is 1 now let's discuss a small table This is sin cos tan. Angles are 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, uh, 180, 270, 360. Let's start filling this one. Sin 0. Can you remember we work like this? And then what will happen? This is 0. Uh, hypotenuse opposite becomes 0. And adjacent and hypotenuse overlap. So opposite is 0. Sin mean opposite. So you can remember, you can look at that video. Or you can remember sine graph start with from where? Here. Sine 0 is 0. So sine 0 is 0. Then cos graph scars is from here. Sine 0 is 0 mean cos 0 is 1. So that's how you want to keep the relationship. Likewise, when it comes to sine 90, Right, opposite and uh, hypotenuse overlap. It means sine 90 is become 1. 
at the same time cos 90 is going to be what? 0 because adjacent becomes 0 here now 0 and 360 we have both characteristics then it will follow this one 0 and 1 now sine 30 can you remember it is half if this is half cos 60 also half then cos 30 is square root 3 over 2 the other value then sine 60 is square root 3 over 2 sine and cos 45 they all same so this value becomes square root now what is sine 180 so the graph 90 180 something like this this is 90 this is 180 0 then cos graph minus 1 then the opposite of this one sine 270 is minus 1 cos 270 is 0 now tan tan mean 1 sine divided by cos 0 divided by 1 is 0 30 and 30 half a divided by square root 3 over 2 2 to 2 cancel out 1 over square root 3 this one and this one divide answer is 1 so this is going to be 2 to 2 cancel out the square root 3 1 divided by 0 is infinity anything divided by 0 is going to be infinity and minus 1 divided by 0 also uh, infinity or 270 so 0 divided by 1 is 0 0 divided by 1 is 0 these things uh, you should remember you should not try to find this answer from calculators so it will waste a lot of time in your exam also if you can remember this it will help your brain to solve the uh, problems we'll do one more time you know sine 45 you know 1 over square root 2 and the same value cos sine 30 is half then cos 60 also half and cos 30 is square root 3 over 2 then this is square root 3 over 2 sin 0 is 0 then cos 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 this is 0 and cos uh, 360 also 1 sin 90 is 1 and then cos 90 is 0 me so these two together 0 1 1 0 then uh, sine 180 is 0 and cos this is minus 1 and this is minus 1 and 0 these four together and then you want to divide 0 divided by 1 0 this is half a divided by this one 1 over square root 3 this is 1 this is square root 3 this is infinity this is 0 and this is infinity and this is 1 actually so this is 0 done now when you can make the table you have to come out of the table and you want to know sine 45 randomly 1 over square root 2 uh, sine 0 is 0 likewise uh, if I t when I tell something you will be able to give the answer then your knowledge is solid 